Yo, chat. We back at it again with another video. Okay, let me tell you something. You seen the title? Dylan Brooks is what the NBA is missing. Okay. Oh, John Morant, put it up. What the fuck is you doing? Anyhow, I'm talking about the NBA needs a Dylan Brooks in the in the lineups. They need him. They need him in the starting squads. You know, in the in the Rockets and all. Man, fuck Austin Reeves, man. Fuck this Lakers squad. My fault. That just came out of blue. I just seen that nigga just do some crazy shit. Anyway, Dylan Brooks might be the most captivating villain that we ever had in the NBA. In this, I guess, five years. Yes, LeBron missed. Um, let's be honest. We had Grant Williams, which that nigga... That nigga really finna go to the Shanghai Sharks. Y'all seen that nigga with the, the Celtics? Who we? <laughs> Who we? Alright. Pat Bev was almost out of here. Um, but you know, he, he sucked the Lapinas. You know what I'm saying? So he he chilling. Hey, if you if you rock with LeBron, you gonna stay in the league for an extra two years. Two to three. Oh, what the Y'all he just won't! Okay. Anyway. Oh, Fuck LeBron. Don't get that shit. Nah, hold on. Miss that. Miss that. Come on, bro. What? This shit cheating. Nick. See, niggas just love sucking that nigga dick. Like, LeBron is not like that. Okay. Dylan Brooks lives in people's minds rent free. Rent free, man. Like, the rent is super duper cheap. Green. Fuck free as fuck okay he make your favorite player <coughs> lebron fucking nervous he make him agitated like you you supposed to be the king ain't you supposed to be like this you that's why he won't be better than kobe or michael jordan to me bro this nigga said you need to drop 40 on me nigga you went and got 20 and 20 you was a bum nigga if that was Kobe or uh, Michael Jordan, nigga, they put f fucking 58 and 10 on the nigga. Like, like they putting 60 on his head and, like, 10 rebounds. Like, you ain't, you, you achieved the goal, but you really did achieve the goal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, getting out rebound, 20 rebounds. If, if you ain't sucking LeBron dick, we, we literally seeing it, bro. If you ain't bending down, spreading your cheeks for LeBron, you getting out the league, tip top in a hurry, pack your bags, you you're going to the Wong Dong Tigers. <laughs> like, it's, it's sad out here, bro. Who wants to be in the NBA and you got LeBron because bro just said, oh, bro, you old. Nigga said you old. Drop 40 on me, you old geezer. And guess what? He now he just lost the playoffs and now he just lost a job. First of all, Memphis, why are you letting that old ass nigga control y'all decisions? LeBron got y'all like that? LeBron got y'all shook so much that you got to say, ah, oh, nah, we don't want Dylan Brooks no more. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Get the fuck away from the facility. Like, come on, bro. What did Dylan Brooks do that was so bad to make him say, you know what, we not even going to give you a thing. Because I promise you, if you did not have Dylan Brooks on this team, this team is not going as far as, as, as usual, bro. This team is not going as far. Now, granted, they made it to the first round, but they wasn't be no second, second seed. I'll tell you that. Because he bring the energy. He's a part of Memphis. Like, when you think of Memphis, you think of the nigga like, bow, bow, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you, like you, you know what I mean? So when you see Dylan Brooks out there, it's like, okay, yeah, Dylan motherfucking Brooks out there. So you know that nigga ain't gonna just push him around type shit, you know? But when we get that, and when niggas is shining, it's weird. Like, when the NBA, when the villain is shining, First of all, when they put that villain tag on you, ooh, fucking we. That shit is really hard to get off. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That shit is really hard to get off. They did my nigga Boogie Cousins the worst way. That nigga Boogie Oogie the Woogie was 
called the the crybaby villain ass nigga. That nigga tried to get him a ring, and nigga ain't nobody. Nigga went to the Lakers, tried to suck LeBron dick. LeBron was like, I can't even help you, my guy. <laughs> that that villain tag is too strong on you. And it's, it's sad, bro. Once you get that villain tag on you, bro, it's so hard to get it off. Pat Bev literally has to to shut up and do his podcast every single day. Nigga, it's Draymond Green. You see that? You see that weird trend? Like, all the, the antagonist-ass niggas has a podcast. Like, why the fuck y'all niggas got podcasts now? Talking to ass niggas? Go get a bucket. Anyway. Um... If he was on your team, you would love that nigga. Let me tell you something. If Dylan Brooks was on the Hawks, we probably win in three rings just because. Because we don't have a nigga like that. I'm going to be honest. We got talent. We got uh, size, girth, A-yo, pause. We got the length. We got everything. We just don't got no nigga that really rock a nigga head for no reason. We don't have a crash out nigga. That's what Dylan Brooks is. He's a crash out nigga. That nigga Mo. That's they see. That's why Mo Bamba don't never play in this fucking in the Lakers uniform. That nigga suck. Anywho, what I'm saying is, you need a crash out nigga, bro. You need a nigga that's just gonna crash out for no apparent reason. But he needs to be a player that don't have that much value, like a nigga off the bench, like. A starter, like he's starting, but he really not a starter. You know them, you know them players. Whereas like he a starter, but he ain't really starting, starting. Like you remember, okay, like Troy Brown. When Troy Brown was with the Wizard, he was starting, but that nigga really wasn't starting. That nigga was ass. Like he was just out there because ain't no really better niggas ain't better than you right now. Until we get some damn people, then your ass on the bench. But to me. I really hope the Lakers will lose, bro. I, I, I really, it's really a, a bad, bad situation for me. It's a lose-lose situation because, first, I don't want to see the Warriors go to the finals ever again. Like, stop with this Curry. Like, I'm tired of seeing Curry in the finals. And I'm tired of seeing LeBron go to the finals and then, he, for some reason, he lose and then everybody going to say, oh, he old. And then, if I already know. If... If LeBron lose to the Suns in the next round, oh my goodness. You know how many, oh, he's old. At least he gave it his hardest. Shut up, you know. Um, But the reason I like Dylan Brooks, the reason I fuck with Dylan Brooks, the heavy way, the Vive highway, the goddamn longest of the ways. Pause. That sounded wrong. Because that nigga has that Pat Bev mentality when he was with the Houston Rockets. I'm talking about Pat Bev straight from the gutter. I'm talking about Pat Bev look like he just shot two niggas, did two drive-bys before he even got to the game. I'm talking about that Pat Bev when he was with Houston. When niggas was like, Houston, we got a problem. This nigga just got two bodies before he even touched the court. I'm talking about that, that, that Pat Bev mixed with Draymond. But... That's not afraid to shoot. Like, that's what makes me so mad about Draymond, bro. This nigga Draymond will talk his ass off. But this nigga will not take an open shot worth worth nothing. Like, it, it, you see him have a whole wide open shot. I promise you, I'm they playing right now. I promise you, they gave Draymond Green about three open wide open threes. And he ain't even looking at the basket. But we never talk about Draymond not shooting it. But we shit on uh, Ben Simmons. You know what I mean? Even though Ben Simmons, you are superior ass. Like, you're, when niggas talk about ass, you're top, of, you top two. <laughs> Not two. You're top two, though. Um, And then, we got to talk about the most important part about Dylan Brooks. Niggas, I don't know why niggas don't get this in their mind. When I see a nigga dressing like a damn WWE fucking fighter. Nigga look like he about to go play with Rey Mysterio and about to swan bomb fucking, fucking, uh, um, goddamn, I haven't watched WWE in a minute, goddamn, hold on, I need to think of some niggas, I said Rey Mysterio and goddamn Brock Lesnar, goddamn, I, I gotta get back on it, 
But anyway, like it is, it's on that type of time. And any nigga that drip is like this, bro. You know you're not in for a normal game. That's a nigga that has bad intentions. He wants to rip your head off. That is a nigga that ain't really, really waiting on nothing. He's going after it all day long. Pause. That sounded wrong. But if, if for some reason they can do it, I don't know if they're gonna get. Uh, well, they already said they're not gonna get him back. But I know a person that can replace Dylan Brooks, and I probably Memphis fans will love this one. Miles Bridges should replace Dylan Brooks. That will go absolutely dummy. Okay, Miles Bridges went to prison. He really from them trenches. Like he already got the yeah. You know what I mean? He got the charge all that yeah. So he really solidified. Like if we need to talk about a nigga solidified, like people be like, oh Dylan Brooks, he just talk. He ain't really about that. Nigga, Miles Bridges about that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga rap about it all the goddamn day. You hear that? You hear them niggas rapping? Nigga got bars. I thought that nigga was gonna be in the trap somewhere, but hey, nigga still on the court. That's 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 a real dog right there. They need Mal Bridges on the um, Memphis Grizzlies and try to get Mal uh, and, uh, and Dylan Brooks. Hey, come to the Hawks, man. Oh, they broke his ankles. Okay, Dylan Brooks, come to the come to the Hawks, man. You, we need you, man. Let me. I'm gonna get my pitch out to him. Dylan Brooks, you will be a great addition to the Hawks, the, to the Hawks and to the Hawks franchise. When you touch down, not only one, not only two, not only three, but four rings on your fingers. As soon as you touch down, we might have a statue ready for you. That's how locked in I am with this team. You, Trey Young, Murray, uh, uh, AJ Griffin, Jalen Johnson, Big O, and you come off the bench as the sixth man, Dylan Brooks. Let me tell you something. Not only would you be one of the greatest defensive players in this fucking league, we will make your name seem like a fucking, like a fucking goat, like a, a like a, like a fucking great, like you'll be up there with Kareem and Michael Jordan, all them niggas, bro. Niggas will be looking at you like, damn, bro, they really fucked up when they let that nigga go from Memphis. He went to Atlanta, nigga though. Fucked up and ruined the whole league. Cause I'm telling you, bro. Nigga, we get you Magic City. Get you some of them wings. You know, watch a little twerking. You know, ah ah, clap look. Get you some wings, but you gonna be ready. You gonna be ready for the first game of the season. I'll tell you that now. All right, Dylan Brooks, bring your ass to the Hawks, man. We need you, man. We need your intensity defense. We really. We really just need your energy. We just need that that dog that you had in Memphis. We need that in the Hawks culture. We need that shit, okay? I need you to bring that shit. The shit you were saying about LeBron before they tried to blackball you out the league. I need that at the Hawks, my boy. Because we going to win five rings with you. Not four, five rings. That boy LeBron gonna be looking at you like ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. This nigga done got more rings than me. He gonna be talking to that bald nigga, the commissioner, like nigga, how did how did you let this happen, nigga? Nigga gonna be talking to Bronny Bronny. If you don't take this nigga out, hey, Bronny. He gonna be like this. I'm gonna tell you how this conversation go, Bronny. Ronnie, I need you to do something for me. When you play the Hawks, I need you to take Dylan Brooks' knees the fuck up out of here. Just dive at his fucking legs and wish for the worst, okay? I just need you to do that, okay? Because when you win this five rings, you're going to be up there with the best defenders, all right? The best of them. So, that's, that's all I had to say, man. I just had to put my pitch out there. Um, if y'all appreciate the video, like it, fuck the video, uh, fuck LeBron, fuck the Lakers. I actually like the Lakers. It's when they, when they traded 
Brandon Ingram, Lonzo, and Josh Hart, and all of them for LeBron and AD. Like, I just, like, that really pissed me off. That, like, really, like, irked my soul type shit. Because, like, why would you do that? For one ring that could have, that shit didn't even really count for real. Like, I'm never counting a bubble ring. I'm never counting that ring. Never, ever in my life I'm counting a bubble ring. Because the Suns went undefeated in that bubble ring. That bubble playoffs. The Suns went undefeated in the bubble playoffs. But they didn't make the playoffs. No, they went. Okay, let me say that again. The Suns went undefeated in the bubble regular season. But they didn't make the playoffs, though. So, we don't even know what would have happened if Lakers versus Suns. Who knows? AD probably would have been like, oh, shit, that's AD. That's, oh, shit, that's a, that's that's DeAndre Ayton. That's, that's not Jokic. That's DeAndre Ayton. Oh, no. And DeAndre Ayton would have put easy 30, a little 30-15 on uh, AD. You feel me? Because, let's be honest. DeAndre Ayton is better than um than AD. In in all time, like I'm not even talking about right now. I'm talking about all time. DeAndre Ayton is better than Anthony Davis as of right now. And I stand on that. Don't give a fuck what you say. Um But yeah. That's all I had. If you appreciate the, the video, like it. If you want to see the strange, y'all want to talk to me live, really get into my cranium. See how I'm thinking about, like, why I'm saying this. And y'all want to talk live? Follow my Twitch. We over there. Damn near almost all day, every day. So come over there. And we go turn up. And then, shit, follow the socials in the um, description. And we going to get popping. All right? On the next video, we out. Choo Choo Mafia. We out. Peace. Ah, that nigga breaked.